China is not a scapegoat Beijing blasts pressure from US and North Korea amid WW3 fears China has lashed out at both the US and North Korea over their increased pressure on Beijing to ease tensions between the two nations. Following North Korea's latest missile launch, the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations told China it must stop selling oil to North Korea and issued a warning to Beijing that if action wasn't taken, then the USA would have to step in. Chinese state media blasted the U.S. response saying, China has no reason to pay for North Korea's mistakes adding, Beijing has no obligation to cooperate with the U.S. on this impractical idea. China is North Korea's sole major ally and they share a long border and significant trade. The nation's state-run Global Times said, We can neither persuade Pyongyang nor sway the opinion of Washington. When tensions on the Korean peninsula reach a new height, a large portion of the pressure is transferred to China. But the US and North Korea must shoulder their own responsibility without making China the scapegoat. Speaking about the repeated pressure placed on Beijing the newspaper added, the U.S. has no right to direct China or the Security Council. Despite lambasting Kim Jong-un's regime for scapegoating China, the Beijing-based media reaffirmed its friendly policy towards North Korea. It said, China remains one of a few countries that still pursue a friendly policy toward North Korea. Although China participated in the UN Security Council sanctions, the country remains the largest trading partner of North Korea. China has in several UN Security Council debates strongly opposed a comprehensive trade embargo against Pyongyang, stressing that sanctions should only be geared toward fields related to the nuclear program, but not to hurt ordinary North Korean people's livelihoods. The only thing China can do next is to firmly uphold its principles, strive to alleviate tensions while at the same time preparing for the worst. It concluded, Beijing is fully prepared to use its prowess to defend its national interest. China owes no one anything, and other countries must know this. The news comes as the US and South Korea began military drills near the peninsula today. North Korea earlier this week claimed the US was begging for nuclear war by holding the war games which it blasted as preparation for an invasion. The five-day military exercise includes simulating strikes on North Korean targets as well as other drills surrounding wartime scenarios. Six F-22 Raptors, six F-35 as, 2B-1B Lancer Bombers, 6E-18G Crawler Jets, F-15C and F-16 Jets are all taking part in the joint exercise. South Korea has also dispatched F-15K, KF-16, F-A-15 and F-5 fighters. The vast number of soldiers and resources involved in the drills make them the second largest ever between the U.S. and South Korea. The drills were planned in advance and are not taking place as a response to Kim Jong-un's latest threatening missile test. A spokesman for the U.S. military said, Vigilant Ace 18 highlights the long-standing military partnership, commitment and enduring friendship between two nations. It is designed to ensure peace and security on the Korean Peninsula, and reaffirms the U.S. commitment to stability in the Northeast Asia region. But Kim himself has condemned the drills, describing them as an extremely dangerous nuclear gamble.